Hey everyone, this is Rhonda with Game On Girl, and it's the end of Sunday and unfortunately the end of Geek Girl Con. Um, we had a great time. I had to say goodbye to Isabella and Regina a little while ago and uh, little Iris and Chris. Bye. I hope you guys have a safe trip. Um, I'm doing my favorite thing. I'm sitting on the bed getting ready to watch some uh, football and I'm wearing my comfy clothes, my uh, Ladies of Leap t-shirt and my uh, lime green pajama pants. I just want to give you a really quick recap of the things that we did that we may have not gotten videos of or, or covered. Um, I really appreciate um, Privateer Press did uh, little paint miniatures and we got a demo with their paints and they gave us little figures. I got um, Valeria Alvaro, um, an Ordic privateer. And then um, I got to meet Courtney Holmes, and she is with uh, Pixelkin. And I'm sorry if this is backwards for you guys. Um, this is a really cool website. They do family friendly gaming, and they're out to promote. Um, a safe place for families to learn about gaming if they're not familiar with it, especially if their kids are into it and they're kind of nervous. Um, a very sweet group. Um, can't wait to check them out online. Courtney was awesome. Um, I spent some time down in the game room. It was really uh, neat. At Geek Girl Con, there are a lot of people set up to teach you games and to demo games. Uh, it, it's something that's a little harder at other cons for me at least uh, like Dragon Con and stuff and you walk around and people say hey you want to look at our game and I got to look uh, go to games uh, showed me about um, one game they've got Destination Neptune very cool game reminds me a lot of Ad Astra and also uh, Takanoko and it is adorable. I don't, I'm sure you guys cannot see it there, but it comes with a little miniature panda meeple, and uh, that alone would make me want to buy the game. There's no doubt. Um, let's see, what else? Um, some of the panels, Curious About Comics was a really awesome panel. They had a great cast. Um, I'll put up details, or you can also look it up online, but uh, they did some really, really good recommendations. Um, very nice for young and uh, people just getting into comics. And uh, it just makes me more and more excited about comic books. Um, and then the last panel I went to yesterday was with um, Mike Madrid. And you may recognize him from um, one of his other books. And unfortunately, I don't have a picture here. But this is uh, the book he's got out right now, Vixens, Vamps and vipers can't read backwards uh, he did a great talk on the history of the female character especially the female villain in comic books uh, went way back to the 1940s and just had some great slides um, i was lucky to uh, be able to meet him get him to sign my book very very nice um, only thing i'm disappointed about in the book mike is uh, my gosh i wish it was in color it's all in black and white but I will I'll be pouring over this like crazy. Um, part of it is because I've been watching, uh, taking a course, online course at Coursera. Uh, some of you know I'm a big fan of Coursera, and they've got a comic books and graphic novels uh, course, and um, the professor there from Boulder, Colorado is just absolutely amazing, and uh, I, I, I'm learning so much about the, the fine art of storytelling through sequential images. It's really, it's really, really cool. Um, this morning I went to uh, my second Carol Core meeting. I went to a Carol Coral meet, Core meeting in uh, Dragon Con and Kelly Sue happened to be there. Uh, she's at New York Comic Con this weekend so she didn't get to come but she's always so sweet and gracious. She sent forward some gifts and uh, there were some giveaways and it was a really nice diverse group and just uh, one of the unique things that I thought was cool is they asked people who had Carol Core gear on or t-shirts specifically t-shirts to stand up and there were about 15 people with t-shirts on and every one of them was different and the point that they were making at the time is that it, not only Carol Core is a grassroots organization or a grassroots fan group, but they are extremely creative in creating their own materials because it's very difficult to find Carol Core fan stuff. 
So uh, I thought that was a really good representation. Um, really big fans, by the way, to show up on Sunday morning after being out partying on Saturday night and uh, to show your love. Um, me and our intern Isabella entered a love letters tournament and she had a lot of beginner's luck uh, because she almost won our tournament and her and I both got eliminated but uh, it was super fun to learn love letters. Anybody can play, it can play love letters. And I got to learn magic finally. Um, there's a, there was a whole table and it's a, a really nice group called Lady Planeswalkers Society. Um, and apologize if I get, the, uh, I get your name wrong. Um, the girl who taught me was um, Takofu. T-A-K-O-F-U, I believe. Very, very patient, very good teacher, by the way. So I got to play uh, Magic for the first time, and I got a free deck of Magic cards. Look out, here I come. And I won my first game, not knowing at all what I was doing. Uh, the um, society, though, uh, Ladies Planeswalker Society, is a, another group that's coming together to try to create a, a friendly uh, accepting environment for learning games and learning magic I think specifically but just a, a really welcoming environment uh, they've got several groups you might want to check and see if you've got a group in your area because that's their goal if you don't have a um, group where you can go play where you feel safe uh, try to hook up with uh, Lady Planeswalkers Society and let's see if they're, I'll put it all on the on the website. You don't need all that on here. Um, I love shopping. I love shopping at cons. They had um, uh, some really great vendors considering the, the small space. They had a lot of a lot of people. And I always spend a whole lot of money. Of course, I bought the Vixens book. I bought Starflux, and, which we never got to play. Um, Espionage Cosmetics was really awesome. I bought two sets of nail decals, and they didn't have everything that I wanted, but there's a set of uh, POW stickers for my nails and some uh, Cthulhu themed, and in purple, of course, which is really cool. And I, let's see what else. Um, I got to see um, Trisha Barr. I didn't get to go to her panel. I got I got screwed up on my times, and she had a, uh, just a really wonderful panel I wanted to go to, but she had packed houses anyway, so I'm glad other people got to go see her. Um, and Aubrey Weber and her sister Angela were here. They had a concert last night. Um, they were really sweet, and I'm glad uh, so many people were excited that they were here. I want to give some shout-outs to some vendors. I we We are not sponsored. We don't take advertising. This is all coming from me. I just think when uh, people do a good job, I like to just give them a shout out. Um, I stayed at the uh, the Roosevelt, Ho Roosevelt Hotel, and I think I need to talk slower. Maybe that's it. Um, they did a great job. It's a much older hotel. If you want, you know, like three or four people to stay in a room, that might not work out really great. But for me. It was absolutely perfect. Or a couple. Uh, it was really nice because they have all the amenities. I mean, it's a very well set up room, and the staff is very very nice. Um, let's see, and it's only like a, a two block walk, which is really nice. Uh, and in between there, across the street, is a Starbucks and a deli, which was open early in the morning if you want to get any kinds of snacks. Um, and there is also a creperie on the way to the convention center delicious. It's a long wait, but they're handmade to order. I got a fig, apple, and goat cheese crepe for lunch. It was pretty awesome. Uh, some of you may have seen I had my very first experience with conveyor belt sushi today at Blue Sea Su Sushi, and their uh, wait staff was very, very nice. I actually got some uh, cotton candy for dessert today. I think it, and I still have a blue tongue. Sorry, I hope it didn't gross you out. Um, Juicy Cafe is a place that actually um, Regina recommended and I had lunch there yesterday which was a great idea because they do some very very healthy smoothies and very very fresh um, salads and um, I don't know if they do sandwiches or not because I got a salad and at cons you tend to eat a lot of junk food 
and it makes it just makes you feel sick it breaks down your immune system you just feel like crap and when, when by the time you get home you're just you're just trashed um, if anything I think I've eaten better on this con than I have ever eaten at a con um, thanks to juicy cafe and Starbucks for their their mini stops I, I love going by the Starbucks all the time um, same weekend any of you who happen to know uh, I'm a football fan uh, I know some of you probably have a problem with that, but that's a different conversation. We should talk about that sometime. Uh, Dallas Cowboys happened to stay in the hotel across the street from me this morning. So personally, I was extremely excited. Huge Cowboys fan. Uh, we highly recommend Geek Girl Con. It's a very friendly environment. Lots of kids, um, lots of teens. It gives them such a positive experience and very family friendly. I, I've seen everything today, I swear that that was a newborn that guy was holding. It's the tiniest little thing I've ever seen all the way up and um, very accepting, very open, wonderful panels, professional people. Um, thanks to Geek Girl Con and uh, thanks to Regina and Isabella and thanks to you guys for listening and uh, letting us do videos instead of a podcast this week. I am on my bed in my stretchy pants and I'm going, I've eaten my cotton candy. I'm going to uh, pour me a tall drink and watch football. Bye guys. We'll talk to you next week.